Minecraft villages can be a little bit boring looking, but Kyle from Kylecraft and I are going to transform this village into two different styles. Don't you go anywhere if you want to see what we're going to do. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance. And today, we are starting a little mini-series that I'm going to be doing with Kylecraft. Very excited about this. You see this village behind us? It's a bit boring, isn't it? Okay, it's not a 114 village, which are a little bit better. This is 113, but Kyle and I are going to transform this village. But we're going to do it in a slightly different way to normal. What we're going to do is we're going to transform this kind of one or two buildings at a time with a little kind of video mini series, if you like. And that's going to have, I know, the blacksmith is going to be today. And then maybe it'll be the church and then maybe it'll be the large houses and whatever. But we're going to reconstruct the building over here and basically make this village over there. Just over there. Somewhere like, over there. Somewhere like that. So as you can see, this village as it used to be. And the new village as it's going to be but i'm going to do it in one style and kyle's going to do it in a different style and then what i'll do is i'll do my building and then at the end of the video i'll pop into kyle's world and see what he's done i'm going to do a rusticy type style because that's how i roll and kyle is going to do a modern style which i'm really excited to see it's going to be a very interesting little series and i hope you'll run along with us as we create this for you let's crack on Today's building transformation is the blacksmith, which is probably one of the most interesting buildings in the whole of the village, but it's definitely central. And it's the one that you always want to find because it's got this in it. Although that actually, frankly, is a little bit dull, apart from the diamond horse armor, which is quite nice. But anyway, we're going to transform this and we're going to transform it in approximately, not exactly, but approximately the same footprint. So we don't change the layout of the village too much because we want to literally duplicate the village over there so this is one two three four five six seven blocks by one two three four five six seven eight nine ten blocks counting with avo ten by seven i don't like those dimensions that's got to be at least 11 by seven i imagine to give me that odd number that i much prefer let's crack on over there now, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to use for this because we are going to do it a little bit freestyle. But I reckon I'll probably be using most, if not all, of the following things and probably some other stuff that I've not been able to fit in my inventory. So we've got oak and stripped oak. We've got various stone brick formats. We've got cobblestone, andesite, normal stone. We've got chests and crafting tables and furnaces. We've got various tools. We've got some magma blocks, cobwebs, anvils, a bit of glass, some cobble wool, some dark oak stuff. Um, spruce door, some buttons, some pressure plates, and some other little bits and pieces too. So let's see where this takes us. Right, I've marked out a 7x11 rectangle, and this is what I want to use for the blacksmith. But what I do want to do is I want to raise it up. I've just got this feeling that I want to have it kind of up a little bit raised off the floor. And I don't know what's driving me to that, but I just fancy it, frankly. So I'm going to build up what is essentially a cobble platform. A bit dull at the moment, I'll grant you, but it's going to be cobble platform because I feel that it needs a bit of a strong foundation. But we're not going to be really seeing this at all, so it doesn't really matter what it's made of per se. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come all the way around it with some stone brick stairs, I think, and that will be effectively the platform upon which we are going to play. Um, get that there like that all the way around and then I want to decide how raised I actually want this puppy and I wonder whether or not we properly raise it off the floor by having some stone brick in each corner here and that acts kind of as a set of legs um, for this to sit on and we have a platform of what should we go for in the first instance? I've already not got what I need. We're going to have an upper platform. Let's just get rid of that for now. An upper platform of stone brick slab. So I'm not going up very high. It's just a little bit, but it's enough for me to have that kind of sense of lift. If 
that I'm looking for with this particular one, I think. Um, yeah, so I'm going to completely floor out with this stone brick slab. And what that will enable me to do, if I do that, hang on, is if I come right down the middle. So this is 11, which means theoretically six should be the middle. So one, two, three, four, five, six, that's the middle. I can pop another one in there and another one in there. And that, it just, I feel better about myself because it gives us just a little bit of support. And then I'm just gonna fill this all in with the slab. Now the slab acts as a upper block, so it's just as if I've got a stone brick uh, block in there in terms of building on it, but it gives that kind of illusion of uplift a little bit. I've I just put I thought I just put one on the side there as well, didn't I? Well I wonder if that looks like quite a little happy accident there, I think maybe. Let's let's do that. Right, actually I'm very happy with that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the entrance up and we're going to have it in the same format as we've got the fella over there. The entrance is kind of on the left here, isn't it? So I'm just going to pop it there. And then we're going to have another set of steps there. Obviously, we need to do something with these guys in here. So let's get those out like that. And don't you come anywhere near us, Cal. And that will act as the entrance up to this fella's place. Because I think we wanted something just a little bit more grand. So what I am going to do actually is I'm going to take the corners out of this I think and I'm going to, this is meant to be rustic after all not industrial so let's get ourselves a little bit of rustication going on in here and we'll give this fella some kind of beamage. So if I come here how high have I got? So that's only a two high beam there isn't it? So let's make it four high from the actual platform that he's going to be working and living on. And that should, I think, give us a much better feel for how this is gonna gonna go. I'm not gonna put any cross beams on just yet because I'm not entirely sure how that is going to work. What I am gonna do, however, around the back here, I think, is build in a bit of a chimney. And I'm gonna do that, let's think. So if I do that uh, there, there, and four wide like that and then two if I come out and I'll just I'm just building the structure of it at the moment I'm not actually making the chimney but this is kind of where the chimney is going to be like that and that's going to allow us to make this fella's forge which is going to be in there and that'll act as the forge which means we can take that out um, and put some magma blocks in there which will act quite nicely as um, kind of a heat. Do we want to do that, I wonder? Let me think for a moment. I do want some iron bars, I think. So let's just get rid of that. If I do that like that, that actually could work. Let's keep that there for now, and we'll have a bit of a play with it in a bit. But that's going to be the forge. But what we do need to build up are the walls. And the walls are going to be classically kind of around but we're gonna have this space open very much like the the normal places it's gonna be open but not open that sounds a bit weird doesn't it I think I know what I'm talking about but I'm not <laughs> entirely sure yet so it's gonna be open to the elements but it's gonna be roofed whereas this bit is actually gonna be enclosed like a, a living uh, space kind of blacksmith shop type thing so if that makes more sense hopefully that's a uh, that's there. I'm going to have one, two, three, four. Can we got four gap there? So let's just build this up another layer, so as I can start to visualise where we're going with it. And what I do want to do, actually, whilst I'm thinking about it, I want to put that there and there, that there and there. Yeah. So we're coming up. And you walk into his open area where he does his work and then he's got his shop bit there yep i know what i'm doing i'm i'm there i'm not making it up as i go along well i am but we don't like to talk about that so i've brought the walls up to three high and what i want to do is i want to create a rudimentary set of steps so this uh blacksmith can get up to a second level because on this side i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to have another level 
here um, that is going to be a living quarters it's it's not going to be very big it's going to be pretty meager frankly but what I want to do is just have somewhere where he can have basically his kind of blacksmith shop and then somewhere he can go and sleep kind of between between swords shall we say there we go so that is how high does that make that so if we've got that goes there like that and I think that's probably plenty of room frankly for him that's all he's going to need so we are on the top so if he comes down he's do be doing up here he comes in and he can go to bed I'm going to keep this um, open sort of mezzanine style I think because I think what this guy's going to want to be able to do is look over his shop now what that is going to mean is we can carry on this chimney and again I'll just structure block it for now so as the chimney can come up probably that high and let's just pop that there like that and that there like that to bring the chimney around and make that that high and I think we're probably as high as we want to go with that for now let's bring these up a little bit another couple of levels I think that's fine there and there there and there and then what I'm going to do I'm going to block off that last block on the outside with some wood so is it it just brings that height down a touch even though the inside doesn't get affected yet yeah, that's what we want a little bit of rain and we put that there like that bring this around like that so we've got our structure let's just fill this up with more cobble so as we can see what we're doing like that and like that and then just for consistency it's probably going to come out I'm going to put that there so we've got that part so we're going to bring this up because this is going to be a single door entrance I think but we're obviously going to be breaking this up a little bit uh, let's put in a door there so as he's got an in and out door to protect him from zombification and okay it looks very blocky and square at the moment but we'll do something about that it is I kind of got in my head what I want to want to do with it so let's work a little bit on his working area what I've done is I've punched out this window and shoved in some iron bars I'm in this window here I'm gonna actually give him some glass because I'm nice like that and he's got a decent window there this gives visibility and a little bit of aeration into the living area and the other one gives him a view because you know you gotta have a little bit of a view I might even you know what I might even put one in there this may not stick around because I might want that wall for something else but let's leave that there for now what I want to do is I want to work on the working area a little bit and to do that I think we need to give him a flu but to give him a flu I need to be able to get in there to make that sort of pattern like that there we go so that kind of acts as a, an area for him to if I just get rid of that that will give the impression of it going up which we like um, I'm going to do something here so I'm going to pop two bits of cobble there that there can't get in there whilst I'm there um, will it allow me to do it of course it will that there that there and that there if I then punch out that I can put in two bits of lava I want to get rid of the lava so I don't put it anywhere by mistake and that's going to give us that's a little bit like a molten metal type of thing if ever I saw one and I think we're starting to get the the feeling of a working environment I do need to stick an anvil in here definitely needs an anvil for goodness sake and I'm also whilst I'm thinking about it I'm also going to put in some woodenness here just to give a greater level of rustic fill so now we've got 
an anvil, his little working bench doodah thing that does flip out the little kind of embers. We've got his working um, kind of fire and that's starting to look like a fairly decent area. So now I'm going to get some item frames. I'm going to put one there, one there, one there. I'm hoping these don't catch fire. They shouldn't do, should they? I put that there, that there, and that there. And that's kind of an advert for his wares then, isn't it? That's, oh look, I can make you some of those if you want. Do you fancy a pick? There's a pick. Do you fancy one of those? I made that myself, he could say. So we've got the beginnings of that structure. And then inside, what I want to do, this is the area where he does do more work and we need a crafting table in order to allow him to do that work. And we'll put the crafting table underneath the window. We need some storage for him to be able to store his stuff there like that. I think that works fairly reasonably. And um, I'm also going to put in here some furnaces because I think this maybe is where he would smelt his iron and yeah I don't think there's anywhere here I want to put any furnaces uh, you know what I'm tempted let's shove three furnaces in there as well that's quite cool I like that and that way we can put in here some coal into each of them so they can turn on as and when. And what we might then do. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I've changed my mind. I'm going to take those out. I'm actually going to put the furnaces in there. And, and there. And that way he can do the necessary workage there. And I can also connect up the furnaces so they act as part of the the chimney system i'm happy with that that's much better right time for the roof because then i can i'd normally put the roof in earlier than this but in actual fact i think this is probably about the right time because i wanted to get all the insides right before i started fiddling around with the roof and i'm just going to put a very classic 12 12 type of roof gable on this so it's just straight kind of up and down diagonal using some steps to start with he says if he can actually fix them on um, and we're just going to do exactly the same gable on the other side we might fancy it up just a little bit it's quite possible that we'll do that but let's get the structure of it in first so we're up we're there there and what I am going to do is I'm actually going to put a little overhang um, so that can go in there and that can come out like that. I think that works. Yes, it does. And then using some dark oak stairs. First off, we're just going to put just a load of stairs. But then what we'll do is we'll rough it up a little bit. So rather than it just being a load of stairs, we'll give it a bit more texture. Um, because it just make it look slightly more interesting. So I'm just going to get this roof done. So the roof is on. It's still very boxy. We're going to sort that out. We've got the chimney coming out the top. So it's looking okay. But it's quite dark inside. And it's no good having a door to uh, protect yourself from zombification. If all it's going to happen, if a zombie is going to spawn inside it. Or even worse, a creeper that blows off your face. That would be awful. So we're going to try and light it up. I fancy a bit of glowstone. I just do. I know maybe it's not in keeping. Maybe, maybe. But I just fancy it. So I'm going to come in here. And I'm going to go, not the first one, that one. Put that there. Not that one, that one. 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 Which should leave one gap. And then I want a trap door. And I think I want my classic trap door choice. Which is the oak trap door. And fill that in on all of those. Now, that will give you enough light on the top. We'll still need to put some light in down at the bottom. And obviously, we definitely need to put some light in here. So what we're going to do for light in here, we're just going to go pretty basic. We'll have a torch in there. We'll get a torch in there and a torch in there. And that will light it up plenty. Thank you very much. We'll fancy that up a little bit more as well. 
I might also put a torch there and a torch there for a bit of ambience. I think that'll be nice. Let's do that for a little bit of ambience. Um, yeah, I think that'll do for now. So we've got light, we've got roof, we've got somewhere for him to live. What we've not done is give him his bed. So let's shove a bed in there. Otherwise, what's the point? And he can have his bed. Oh, no, that's not a bed. We can have his bed there. And he can have a bit of his own personal storage on either side of his bed there and there. And what I think he's likely to want to do is I think he's likely to have an armour stand. So I'm going to shove an armour stand in at an angle. And I'm just going to get rid of that armour stand now because it's in my way. Um, what else can I get rid of? I'm not going to use the flower pot at least for the time being. So let's get those out of the way. Because what I want to do is I want to put that like that. Perfect. There you go. So he's got a little bit of an armour stand there, which is his armour. And then downstairs, obviously, he wants to be selling armour. So we're also, I reckon we could put an armour stand in here, which means I've, except I've just put the, the armour stand away. So let's get that back. I'll put that in there like that. That armour stand can sit there. And we can put armour on that as well. That's looking fantastic. Right, so now we need to stop it looking quite so boxy. So what do we use to combat boxy? Well, I'll tell you what we use to combat boxy. We use detail. So we're going to pop out those three there. And I'm just going to put those there. What that does, that opens up that wall completely, just completely transforms the wall. And we can then start to put some detail along this wall. So it might be that we want to put in some stairs and we can put some stairs into the corners. Let's round off those corners a little bit up at the top. We can break the entire thing up by putting in a row like that. And then we can use that as a platform for putting other bits and pieces on and we'll do that in a moment. And then we can also, where's my, I've put it away. We can also use fence. And what I'm gonna use here, I'm just gonna put some fence in either side of that just to break this up a little bit because frankly a, a big kind of stone wall even when we've broken it up with different textures does a, does offend me a little bit we need to do something a bit more attractive than that we can then shove ourselves some shutters on either side of that we'll come back to that wall in a minute so we're going to bring in some shutters on this side also around those windows We'll do the same around the windows on the back here. That's great. So we're starting to get some already breaking the texture up just a little bit there. I want to try something, however. I want to see whether or not that works. Now my worry is if I do it that side, do I have to do it that side? But maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Um, if I do it on the top, I could. Is that gonna, is that gonna cause me upset? Just looking at it now. If I'm not sure, see what I don't want is to have it here. That's not something that I need. So I'm actually gonna take this bit out, but I'm gonna keep the lintel there. So we've got that and that. Let's pop this back, that and that. Oh, no, that's not what I meant to do at all. Uh, find me one, there we go. That and that. So I'll keep the lintel in there because that kind of works. But what I'm not going to do is have the, the pillar because it's not going to do anything for me. What I could do, however, is pop that in there like that to give... Yeah, that's kind of nice to give like kind of that entrance way feel to that. I'm going to pop in some slab underneath that window. I'm also going to put that over that window to break that window up. I'm going to do something with this wall in a minute. I'm going to do exactly the same on this side and over the window also. 
So now we've got two windows that are marginally dressed and then we just have to address that sidewall, which I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with just yet, but I will do something. What I am gonna do, however, is I'm gonna get me some oak wood and I'm gonna pop some oak wood. No, I'm not gonna do it there this time, in here. I'm gonna pop it in there, in there, in there, in there, in there. And then I'm gonna get, where's it gone? I'm gonna get, I've completely lost it. I wonder, actually, let me try this. I just wanna see what that looks like from outside. I'm not entirely sure that's gonna work. No, it's not. Right, so let's get some glass in there instead. That's better. Now this has just created an even more flat space. We'll deal with that. And we're gonna put the same on the other side around here because the gable does need to be dressed. We can't have it open like that. That's not gonna look right at all. Get rid of that. There, there, and there. Okay, so now all we've got to do is I've got to address that wall around the back and we've got to put in some more detail to, to stop it still being ever so slightly boxy. So that is what the old blacksmith's looks like. And this is the new one. We've managed to bring out that boxiness as a result of these oak blocks here with some cobblestone wall on top, little bit of button to merge the wood into the stone and the stone into the wood. We've brought some feet out again to spread that kind of straight up and down feel that we had on it. It was too up and down. We really need to kind of edge it out. I've put a gravel border around it. I've put just a little kind of edging out on that roof there just to give it a bit of an overhang over that front window it gives it a bit more shape and stops the eye just looking down it as a straight line we've put some decoration on the window sills and all in all a little bit of buttonage there as well all in all i think we've done a half decent job of it inside um he's got everywhere he needs to work with his anvil his um molten iron he's got his working area there he's got a little picture above his furnace because he is a fan of the martial arts and inside here he's got somewhere to eat his lunch and upstairs he's got his bed as well as his armor which is his own personal armor i think we are done the only thing we've got left to do is to go and see what kyle has done and here is the modern version by Carl Craft. So Carl's done some of the road on the outside already first. I really like the way that looks. Let's just look at the top. Um, so we've got an interesting kind of pattern there that's given us the, um, the, the white concrete with that kind of slightly asymmetrical shape. I like the way that's come out very, very much. I also, within a modern build, this is classic kind of multiple strut using this white concrete. It's very, very effective. We've got the back uh, there of the um, the furnaces. I like that's quite nice the way you've done that actually. Let's come up. Got... Yeah, very good. Right, so let's come around the front. So obviously we can see lots of light going in there as a result of the glass. The stripped wood works beautifully um, within a, a modern build. I'm actually really quite like that. I even like, believe it or not, I like the fact that we've got polished rock here is working perfectly. A little bit of green carpet, you can't hide that from me. That works well. And we've got the path is actually uh, gone from being a formal path into some stripped bark there, which is great. Uh, coming inside, nice and simple in the, the tradition of all of these villages, actually. I like the way, that's quite clever. I've never seen that done before, actually using an iron um, trap door as a shelf. That works really quite well. He says, never, never seen that done before because I'm a noob. But, and then coming in here, the floor uh, works perfectly. The, the fact that we've got a single level um, glass, I suppose you could call it a fence, but kind of a partition that allows you, should you wish to, you could go out that way, but it's enough to stop any nasties coming in, which is what matters. And then you've got your furnaces there with a couple of trap doors on top. That is a good job. So if you can imagine, that is a nice modern um, blacksmith's outfit. Here is over here, the original blacksmith's outfit. I'm just flying towards it quick. 
Why can't I fly faster? Ha ha! So what Carl's done here is he's modelled it within the village as well. I hadn't realised he'd done that. That's quite neat. So let's pop, pop ourselves down. What are the villagers? What do you reckon to it, my old mate? Do you like it? Do you like it? Yeah? You're going to nod at me? You're not a trained villager, are you? But oh, it works really well in the village setting. I like it. Nice job. And we have stage one of our village transformation. And you can see how this is going to go, can't you? So we're going to transform the rest of the village as well in the same style. And oh, look, your little man came out. He was very happy in there. But we're going to transform the rest of this village in a similar style. And as a result, I think what we're going to end up is with some really interesting takes on the same village. We've got the church in the background. We've got the houses. We've got the farmland. That is going to work out really, really nicely. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button on both mine and Kyle's videos and we will keep on making them. Also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button and pop over to see Kyle's channel and subscribe to him as well. His um, tutorial is going to be up at exactly the same time as mine as to how he has made this. So it's definitely worth a look. Look forward to seeing you in the sub club. Bye.